learned about the convex curve and the concave curve. We know that a function may be increasing or decreasing and it may increase or decrease at an increasing rate or a decreasing rate. In this video, we will see two most popular curves that are used in economics. Indifference curve is a popular curve that you will see in the ordinal utility theory. The x-axis and y-axis measures two commodities purchased by a consumer and the curve show a certain level of utility derived from the purchase. The usual shape of an indifference curve is a downward sloping convex curve. Now the question is, why is this curve downward sloping and convex to the origin? For simplicity, assume that an economy produces only two goods, say bread and pen. Given a limited budget, what will be your pattern of consumption? There are two observations. The first observation is that if you wish to purchase more of bread, you will reduce your consumption of pen. And if you want more of pen, you will reduce your consumption of bread. This is because of a limited amount of money with you. Since there is an inverse relationship between bread and pen, the curve will slope downward or the function will be decreasing. The second observation is regarding the shape of the curve. Will it be convex or concave? In the consumption of goods, there is a human tendency that the consumption of more and more of one good reduces the marginal utility for that good or what is termed as diminishing marginal utility. This results in an indifference curve that is convex to the origin. In mathematical language, when the consumption of bread increases by one unit, the consumption of pen will fall. An increase from one bread to two breads reduces pen by two units and increase in bread by another unit reduces pen by another one unit. Now change in y is minus 2 that increases to minus 1. Since minus 1 is greater than minus 2, the rate of change increases. Therefore, we have a convex curve. Can an indifference curve take any other shape? Let us try to derive the relationship between vehicles and pollution. Since pollution depends on the number of vehicles, pollution is measured on the y-axis and vehicles on the x-axis. There are two observations. The first observation is that greater the number of vehicles, the more will be the pollution. Hence the indifference curve will slope upward or the function will be increasing. The second observation is that nowadays many countries are producing green vehicles or environment friendly vehicles such as Nissan Leaf electric car is a zero emission vehicle, Indian Reva electric car another ZEV sold in India, several European countries, Japan, Australia and Costa Rica, Toyota FCHV bus, an ultra low emission vehicle and Honda Insight, a super ultra low emission vehicle. These vehicles produce less harmful impacts to the environment. It may therefore be considered that as the number of vehicles increase, pollution increase but at a decreasing rate, thus giving rise to an indifference curve that is concave. 
production possibility curve is another popular economic curve that expresses the relationship between the production possibilities of goods and services. Let us suppose that an economy produces ammunitions and automobiles. Also suppose that labor is the factor of production used to produce ammunitions and automobiles and labor is available in limited quantity. There are two observations. The first observation is that since resources or labor is in limited quantity, if an economy wishes to invest more in defense, it has to produce more of ammunition and reduce the production of automobiles. Thus, defense industry will require more resources, that is labor, as compared to automobile industry. Similarly, if the economy wishes to invest more in automobile industry, it has to reduce the production of ammunition because now more resources will be required in the automobile industry. Since there is an inverse relationship between the two goods, this will result in a downward sloping curve. The second observation is that if production of automobiles increases, resources or laborers have to be relocated from the production of ammunition to the production of automobiles. In this process, there may be the problem of adjustment or adaptability and therefore more and more laborers will have to be relocated from ammunition industry to the automobile industry. In other words, the opportunity cost increases. This will result in a curve that is concave to the origin. The basic foundation of expressing the relationship between economic variables is a mathematical function. Therefore, we have seen that a mathematical function plays a very important role in economic relationships.